Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the like, I guess, second part of this Create a Sim little series that I'm doing. So today we are doing Teresa from the Barbie doll collection. Um, and that has, ugh, as I said in the Barbie one, Teresa was actually my favorite as a little girl. Um, again, I was going to dig out one of my Teresa dolls, like my, my favorite one. Um, her arm is broken off because like, Look, she's seen some stuff in her life, okay? She's been through some wars. And by that, I mean, you know, like, falling down the stairs at my old house and stuff like that. You know, just typical kid stuff. Um, we are making her right now. For the most part, I found her face shape. Sorry, I'm like trying to zoom out here. Um, her face shape was a little bit difficult for me to do. And also you see me like checking Barbie's skin tone just to, not skin tone, but like the skin pack just to... I wanted to keep them all with the same skin pack to kind of make them look similar because obviously Barbie dolls kind of have like the same skin, just different colors. Um, but her actual face shape, because Teresa's face is actually pretty like, it's like rectangular in a way. Um, and it's very long, so you will be seeing me adjusting like the length of her face quite a bit during this actually, just to try to get her the way I was seeing her. And again, I did have several photos up, so if you see me pausing at any point, it's just me looking at a photograph for reference. And I think I actually saw a photo of one of the Teresa dolls I had owned, or at least one that looked very similar in facial features to the one that I owned. So I was going based off of that one. I was finding the eye shape really difficult for her for some reason, and I don't know why. I, the end result ends up being great. Like, I think she looks 10 times better than Barbie does. I, you know, I'm still not completely happy with Barbie. Like, I almost want to make her face a little bit wider to make it a little bit more round. Just to sort of emulate the Barbie that I grew up with, because that's what I'm used to. But Teresa, she came out fantastic, especially when you pull her hair back into a ponytail. So, like, obviously you've seen the thumbnail by now, guys. So, you already know that her with the ponytail up, she looks spectacular. Like, let me tell you, she looks like Teresa, and I am here for it. I'm so proud of myself. But anyways, here we go. I'm putting on some eyelashes. I think she might... Does she have the same ones as Barbie? I'm not even sure. But Teresa's eyelashes kind of come out... Um, they're kind of fanned out a little bit more to the sides of her eyes. Um, and they're a little bit more accentuated right there, so that's why I did that. Um, I kept her makeup pretty simple. I didn't go over the top like I did with Barbie. Because obviously Barbie is all pink and cute and like Elle Woodsies. Elle Woodsies? I don't know. Anyway. Um, but you know, I, I try to keep it as true as I could to her skin tone as well. Like trying not to make it look ridiculous. Um, but as you can see, I was having a hard time finding a lip color, ooh, a lip color that actually resembled hers. And also, I am expecting another package. So if you hear my doorbell or anything, it's just you know, the Amazon delivering cupcake tins, basically. Um, but yeah. Uh, her hair, it was giving me some problems. I, 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 it was really hard for me to pick one. Like, her hair is actually pretty darn long. I feel like her hair is, uh, I mean, Barbies all kind of have the same length of hair, let's be honest, because they're Barbie dolls. But, um, Hers was just giving me issues. I almost went with this one because it has like the slight waviness and at least my Teresa doll, she had some waves to her hair. I almost actually went with that one. Did I go with, did I go with this one? Is that the hair I pick? I don't, I don't think that's the hair I end up going with. I'm pretty sure I end up picking one that's completely off of her face because Teresa's um, forehead's actually pretty long. So I wanted to accentuate that because I feel like that's what makes her look like Teresa. Which sounds crazy, but trust me, especially again, when you see her hair pulled back into the ponytail, she really looks like Teresa and it's because the forehead is more exposed. So I, yeah, I don't stick with this hair. As pretty as it is on her, if she was any other sim that I was just making, I would have totally gone with it because she's gorgeous. But since I was trying to make her look like the Teresa Barbie doll, obviously that didn't happen. Um, and yeah. Yeah, here I am trying to adjust her face a little bit more um, and also adjust her body a bit. Again, she is a Barbie doll, so please don't shame me 
<laughs> on, on shaping the body that way. Um, but I, as you can see, I did keep the weight up a little bit because I didn't want her to look unhealthy or anything like that because she's also a sim now, so, you know. Um, yeah, here I am trying to pick another hair. It's just, uh, this one was really cute on her, as was that one. Um, I think, there we go. There's the hair. You can see a little bit more of her forehead, and I thought that was a nice touch. If I could have found one that was a little bit further back, <sighs> yawn time. We take a break here. Um, if I could have found a hairline that was a little bit more pushed back, I would have gone with it. But this one is probably about the best I could get with the hair actually being down. So that's why we went this one. Um, and as you can see, I'm kind of paused in motion here. There we go. I was looking up photos of all of her outfits to try to figure out what color am I going to do for her, which I believe I mentioned in the Barbie one. How she wears like a variety of colors. Like... You know, Barbie, you expect her to be in pink. Christy's usually in a form of blue. Um, and Teresa, I found her in blue outfits, I found her in purple outfits, I found her in orange outfits, so I went with purple because purple's my favorite color. And she was my favorite doll. So that's what I'm doing, okay? It's gonna be purple. I Did, did I give her any orange? She might have some orange. I'm not sure. I really don't remember, which is so bad, but I don't remember, even though I recorded this a few days ago. <laughs> you would think, oh no, she would remember. No, she doesn't. She has like the memory of Dory and forgets things. Not important things, but like things like this are just like, I've made so many sims, you know? <laughs> it's just, uh... I was gonna go with that dress, that CC dress, but after learning how badly it freaking glitches in live mode, it's just like, I don't want to use it because like I don't know how to fix that issue. I've fixed some of my CC before in like Photoshop and whatnot. I actually used to make CC, fun fact. Um, and by make I mean recolor or put like logos on things and stuff like that. I forgot- I don't really remember how to do any of that anymore if I'm honest. Um, I'm sure if I looked at a tutorial I could figure it out but you know, you know I don't know how to fix that because I didn't make the mesh so I don't know what exactly is causing that issue. I don't know. I'm hoping for a fix for it, but whatever. Look how much she's starting to really look like Teresa, though. Like, my heart. I'm so happy with the way she came out. And yes, of course, I gave her the matching dress. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Christy's dress, because she wears a, a lot of, like, blue. Um, maybe we'll do the silver one so it pops on her skin a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see, I guess, once we get there. I'll see what looks best on her, because obviously I don't want to repeat the pink, I don't want to repeat the purple, but I don't know. I'll see you once we get to Christy. Because <laughs> I haven't, at this point, I haven't actually had the time to make her yet, especially since, you know, gotta bake 144 cupcakes this weekend and all that fun stuff, and that's why I'm waiting for those cupcake tins to arrive. Because we had a like, special order from Amazon. Thankfully, Amazon is cheap and it's quick. Um, because we have no containers to put those things in. Um, so yeah, that tells you kind of when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Friday. Um, I kind of mass recorded today, so getting everything out and getting it done, making sure it's there for you guys, and because I'm sure I'm going to be pretty dead this week and I'm not going to want to record, so yeah. Just mass producing right now. Um, but that also means I haven't had time to make Christy, so. Maybe during some downtime this weekend I'll be able to make her, like, late at night, you know, after the baking is done and all of that. And after the Ted Bundy special comes on TV. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, her sleepwear, I wasn't too sure of because I couldn't find a lot of pretty purple things, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It, it looks like a Barbie doll type outfit, so whatever. I don't remember what I used to put my dolls in. Did they have nightgowns? I'm sure they had nightgowns. I'm positive they had nightgowns, like frilly things, because again, 90s style was a lot. It was pretty similar to 80s. There's was just like a lot more neon, I feel like. Um, less, you know, shoulder pads and more frilly, poofy shoulders that are just naturally flowy type things. You know, <laughs> it was the 90s, man. It was the 90s. <laughs> Great time period though, one of my favorites. Um, oh, she looks so cute. Um, I pretty, sh do I pull her hair back for this? I don't know if I 
do for swimwear. I know for hot weather wear, her hair gets tucked back. Oh, it looks like I do pull it back. Um, this might be the ponytail. Yeah, it's this one. Um, and then obviously we have the other ponytail for athletic wear, and I think, again, for hot weather wear, I put her in that same ponytail that kind of shows off her forehead. But obviously I wanted to give her a little bit of a, a variety of different hairstyles since Barbie had it. Oh my god, I cannot speak. My stutter is like so bad right now. I think it's because I'm like trying to talk as quickly as my brain is thinking and it's just not happening right now. <laughs> um, but obviously Barbie has a bunch of different hairstyles so I kind of wanted to do that for her as well. And oh my gosh, I'm like bumping my mic. Um, we will be doing that for Christy as well. I'm hoping I can find a hair that I like for her. Cause like even Teresa was giving me some issues and I'm so picky about hair. Like I want it to be identical to whomever I'm trying to make. If it's like a real person or whatnot. And it's just like something I can't get on my brain. It's like when I say I'm like, no, it has to be exact. And then I never find it and then I just frustrate myself, but that's okay. Um. Yeah, I was gonna like try to ombre the skirt, but nothing really worked. I wish there was like a little bit of a darker purple perhaps, but whatever. Um, so again, doing a similar matching outfit to Barbie's, because when, when dolls come out in the series, they usually have matching outfits, like just different colors or different accessories, stuff like that. I'm trying to remember what my favorite Teresa doll was. like. What was her, what was that line that she came out in? Like, what was that collection? I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, crap. I know I had a butterfly doll. I just don't remember if it was Barbie or Teresa. Um, I never got the like island one though, which I really wanted. Or did I have that one? <laughs> I might've had that one. I can't, cause there was a doll that my friend had and I fell in love with it, and I don't remember if I actually got it, and it was that doll, or if I never wound up getting it. Like, it was one of those things where you asked your parents for it, and they never got it for you for Christmas. It might have been one of those situations. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh, I know I had, um, was it called Got a Groove? Because I, I remember the video game of that. But anyways, I'm gonna end this part here before I keep rambling, so thank you guys so much for watching. Ugh, I cannot speak. I hope you have a magical day. I hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope you love Teresa as much as I do. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!